because Benjamin Netanyahu has just spoken uh, to the United Nations, and the information is quite shocking. Take a look at this headline from the Jerusalem Post. Six or seven Muslim nations to make peace with Israel after Saudis. That's what the foreign minister is saying. That's the report tonight out of the Jerusalem Post. You see he's holding a map talking about the new Middle East. Joining me now to discuss much of this is Dr. Rob Linstead. Dr. Linstead, welcome back to the broadcast. Thank you for joining us. This is quite historic in regards to this peace process coming together. I mean, maybe explain to our audience why we as Christians look at a coming peace deal between Muslims and Israel as being a big deal, prophetically speaking. Well, I certainly think it's one of the signs of the last days because the Bible is very clear that there's going to be confrontation over Israel and Jerusalem and particularly over the Temple Mount. And and just in the last two weeks, and particularly in the last seven days, we've had a, a tremendous uh, barrage of countries all saying, I want to be the guardian of the Temple Mount. Now, I believe that there's going to be a time when uh, the church is raptured out and there's going to be such a desire for peace that it says that Israel is going to have an antichrist confirm a treaty with him. It's going to guarantee Israel some benefits, some things that they want. And what they want more than anything else is to worship and to be able to do that on the Temple Mount. They just recently went through the Feast of Trumpets and Rosh Hashanah. A man was arrested on the Temple Mount because he wanted to blow a shofar. And so they had to go across the Kidron Valley, blow the shofar on the Mount of Olives. But every every Jew has a desire to celebrate the, the Feast of Trumpets, an important celebration for them on the Temple Mount. So when we see these proposed peace treaties and how it just seems like they always have one peace not working, one peace not working. And now they, they need five countries to confirm this. This is what the Bible said. When the Antichrist comes, he will confirm the treaty. He doesn't make the treaty. It's already made. The agreement's been made. But he will confirm the treaty. I believe that Daniel 9, 27, Daniel 8, 24 and 25 speak of this type of an event taking place as proof that the Antichrist is coming. The church is gone already. So that's how close we are to the, the return of Christ. Well, it is. And, of course, this is also prophetic in that it's upsetting Iran and, of course, we know that the Bible speaks about Iran, along with Russia, moving against Israel, that Gog Magog scenario, Ezekiel 38. Look at this headline from the Jerusalem Post. Netanyahu unveils a new Middle East with Israeli-Saudi peace. And Netanyahu, tyrants in Tehran are nothing but a curse. We must not give the Palestinians a veto over Israel's relations with Arab states. Look at him holding that map up there, folks, and talking about this. And of course, Iran is, you know, not going to like this. They're not going to want anything to do with this. The article says Israel's on the verge of creating a peace with Saudi Arabia that could transform the Middle East as long as Iran's nuclear threat is eliminated, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told the United Nations on Friday morning. We are on the cusp of an even more dramatic and historic peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia. That's what he said as he stood before a mostly empty auditorium there. Uh, during the high-level sessions of the 78th General Assembly. Um, what, what do you make of this? Again, the talk of Iran, and of course, Saudi Arabia, you know, they, they've worked together before because the enemy of my enemy is my friend, but then Saudi Arabia got afraid of Iran. So um, do you think Israel is offering to help protect Saudi Arabia from Iran? Well, I, let, let's go back maybe seven days, and let's kind of draw the, the scenario together. Uh, there, there's no doubt that, that Russia and China thought they were really being uh, smart because they said, we're not even going to go to the U.N. assembly. And one of the reasons they didn't want to go was because through pressure from Iran and their friendship, they didn't want to be there when Netanyahu gave his talk. Now, earlier, when, uh, when Iran gave their talk, all they did was dash the United States, said how terrible we are for the help that we've given to to. Uh, the Ukrainians. Uh, I'm not. I'm not for the support of the Ukrainians, but I'm just saying that. That so here's Iran. But earlier, uh, two days earlier, before being trashed by them, we gave a five for five trade 
five prisoners, five prisoners. We said we wouldn't do that because it encourages kidnappers. And then we did something ridiculous. We gave them six billion dollars. The day after they got six billion dollars, they confirmed that they made a deal with Russia for weapons. Now, the six billion dollars, remember, was specified for humanitarian uh, situations. That That's weapons, military uh, tanks and airplanes are not humanitarian aid. The next thing was that they also made an agreement with Russia to increase their doping of nuclear uh, reactive material. Already, they're at 18 times the limit that the agreement has. So they broke that by a factor of 18. That's a huge number. We're talking over 8,000 pounds that they have. Next, the doping that they have, it's higher, almost twice as high as we is, was allowed. So all this going on, and now Saudi Arabia says, hey, Israel, we thought we were going to be friends. We, we thought we were going to help guard the, the Temple Mount. And, and so if Iran is going to get this from Russia, we need concessions to increase the doping of our uh, nuclear facilities. So part of the deal that is being proposed today, unbelievable, is now it's going to be the responsibility of Israel to make sure that Saudi Arabia has nuclear weapons, warheads, nuclear warheads to match Iran because Iran has threatened not only the United States and Israel, but they don't like Saudi Arabia.